Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfect Snellus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our microbiology and infectious diseases playlist. In the last videos, we talked about Clostridium perfringens, as well as the myonecrosis and gas gangrene caused by Clostridium perfringens. Today, we shall talk about the food poisoning, watery diarrhea, necrotizing enterocolitis with bloody diarrhea. With that said, now let's get started. Please watch the videos in this playlist in order. Clostridium perfringens, as you know, is a gram-positive rod, rectangular rod for that matter, or forming anaerobic immotile. The story of the myonecrosis and gas gangrene was discussed in the previous video. Can Clostridia perfringens make spores? Yes, they can, although rarely. Structure-wise, spores have lots of calcium dipiclonic acid. Function-wise, they protect the bacteria from unfair favorable environmental conditions. Clostridia are gram-positive anaerobes. They make spores, but they cannot reduce sulfate to sulfite. Clostridium perfringens is everywhere in water, sewage, and soil. They can colonize your body. They are saprophytes. They can make spores. They can produce toxins. They can grow even when oxygen is lacking. Hashtag anaerobic. The characteristics of Clostridium perfringens were the topic of previous videos. Diseases caused by Clostridium perfringens include soft tissue infections such as myositis, myonecrosis, gas gangrene, food poisoning, watery diarrhea, or necrotizing enterocolitis with bloody diarrhea, septicemia can happen as well. The myonecrosis and gas gangrene were caused by the alpha toxin, which is a lecithinase or a phospholipase, but the watery diarrhea is caused by the heat labile enterotoxin. It is potent, but your trypsin will make it three times more potent. Your intestinal environment is alkaline, which will boost the formation of spores, i.e. sporulation. And while the bacteria is trying to form a spore, it will dish out those toxins out, and these toxins will bind your brush borders receptor in your intestine, causing altered membrane function and permeability, loss of fluid, watery diarrhea, and volume depletion. Moreover, this enterotoxin can act as a superantigen, activating your T lymphocytes tremendously. In the last video, we talked about the soft tissue infections caused by Clostridium perfringens alpha toxin. They include cellulitis, fasciitis, myositis, myonecrosis, gas gangrene, tons of histotoxicity, and life threatening disease. The soldier got wounded, fell onto the soil. His wounds got contaminated. Bacteria entered. Which bacteria? Clostridium perfringens. Seven days later, he had severe pain. Then, myonecrosis, shock, acute kidney injury. Two days later, he's dead. What's that? Myonecrosis, gas gangrene, septicemia, renal failure, etc. Now contrast that with another disease, the watery diarrhea caused by Clostridium perfringens. This is classic food poisoning. Name the toxin, enterotoxin, heat labile or heat stable. It is heat labile, i.e. proper cooking of your food should kill the toxin. So when in doubt, cook it out. The incubation period is between 8 hours and 24 hours. What kind of food is this associated with? Beef, chicken, turkey, ham, and gravy. Especially if you combine undercooked pork with sweet potato. I'll tell you why in the next slide. Can I prevent this from happening? Yes, proper cooking, proper refrigeration. And when in doubt, cook it out. Reheating should kill the heat labile enterotoxin. Contrast that with Bacillus cereus, where you can get the disease by eating warm reheated rice. Tell me about the symptoms. Watery diarrhea, abdominal cramps, no fever, no nausea, no vomiting. Wow. Name the bacteria. Clostridium perfringens. Which type? Type A. Which toxin? The enterotoxin, which is heat labile. Another disease is called necrotizing enterocolitis, but this is bloody diarrhea. Name the bacteria, Clostridium perfringens, which type? Type C this time for the necrotizing. Name the toxin, beta toxin. So it's the second letter in the Greek alphabet, but the third letter in the English alphabet. Where do I find it? Jejunum. Symptoms, abdominal pain, vomiting, and bloody diarrhea. It can ulcerate 
and perforate, causing shock and peritonitis, caused by eating undercooked pork and sweet potato. Combining the sweet potato with undercooked pork is very dangerous because sweet potatoes contain a trypsin inhibitor, which inhibits your trypsin. This will protect the bacterial beta toxin from inactivation by trypsin because I inhibited your trypsin. According to Murray's Medical Microbiology, eating undercooked pork and sweet potatoes together is common in some cultures, such as the peoples of Papua New Guinea, where many cases of necrotizing enteritis were observed. Clostridium perfringens. Clostridium, here's the classroom. Perfringens, here's the perfume. Remember that the mine necrosis with gas gangrene smell real good, like decomposing apples. So sweet, and in the words of Gordon Ramsay, quote, aromatic, close quote. F me, Clostridium perfringens is a gram-positive organism. Here's the angel. Bacillus, here is the rod. Anaerobe, here's the ant in a rope. Spore forming, here are the spores. Alpha toxin, here is the alpha, which is a lecithinase or a phospholipase. Here is your phospholipid cell membrane. Also, there is another heat labile enterotoxin. Here is the heat labile enterotoxin. Diseases caused by Clostridium perfringens include myonecrosis with gas gangrene and the food poisoning with diarrhea after eating chicken beef, undercooked pork with sweet potatoes. How do we treat the myonecrosis with gas gangrene? Hyperbaric oxygen chamber. The best response to an anaerobic organism is by giving aerobic conditions, i.e. oxygen. If you like this video, you will enjoy my antibiotics course, which will teach you about antibacterials, antifungals, antivirals, and antiparasitic medications. Download it today at medicosisperfectsnetis.com. No subscription needed. You download it once and you keep it for you forever. I also have other courses such as my surgery high yields course, emergency medicine and toxicology course. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense.